You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Welcome to Sounds of the Revolution. With me in studio, Commissioner Sean McAbee. Commissioner. Yep. Still in show. quarantine. <laughs> Still in quarantine. Still in quarantine, but putting on a show. Still putting oh, on yeah. RWL. Now, um, you got a special treat for our uh, quarantined uh, listeners, a uh, special match deal this cycle? Yes, we do. And it's like our match deal we had in cycle 49, but it's a one-time special deal you can use for this cycle 54 coming up. $16 match deal, 30 matches, and plus your two wrestlers, you could get 25 scrubs each for two wrestlers. And you get two free battle royal entries. Okay, now 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 say that again. You get two free battle royal entries. You yes. get two. You get two fighters. Two fighters. So you get you get fifty scrubs. You could divide between two wrestlers. Oh man, that's what, awesome. Each, you know, and you get your thirty matches for that one wrestler. You giving it to, but you could divide the scrubs in between two wrestlers. And you get two free battle royal entries for sixteen dollars. Nice. Nice. Can't beat that. And now, um, before we get any further with it, I uh, uh, just want to remind everybody about uh, the up-and-coming uh, Clash of the Bronze. Uh, we still, we're still looking for entries. You are allowed uh, one entry uh, per manager, uh, per, per league. Per, per, league. Uh, per Bronze Age League, yes. Per Bronze Age League, perfect. Yes. Now the winner's gonna. We're, we're coming down. We're hoping we, if we get enough entries, winner will come out with uh, fifty dollars in uh, bronze credit. And whatever, not yeah, in bronze credit. Whatever league your wrestler is that wins, you can use it for that league. Awesome. I mean, it's only a dollar to enter per fighter. Uh, so for three bucks, you could have a shot to win. You know, fifty. Yeah. So can't. I mean, that's a that's a hell of a hell of a target. Yeah, so don't be scared. Just jump in there. You know, tons of competition if you love competition. Oh, yeah. Something like Clash of the Bronze is awesome, especially to, and you ba- know. Basically what it is, it's it's a three-man, it's like a three-on-three, three, you know, <laughs> six-man tournament. And it'll be on each team, it'll be one person from each league on the team. You know, then at the end, whoever wins, whatever team wins, they each get, like, ten free matches the winner of that winning team, then those three from the winning team will fight it out. And the winner of them, that three, will win the $50 in IWA credit. Right. Now, uh, cool. I know last time, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, have we uh, determined or have we uh, finalized, uh, it's, are we using totals to determine winners of those uh, trios, of those six yeah. men? Yeah, you would have to because... Okay, perfect. Yeah, doing... Uh, <clears throat> trying to put everybody... The IWA hate us if we if we had to do that, you know. Yeah, no, it makes it makes sense. Like I said, it, just want to just want to get it out there so everybody knows, uh, you know, the the, the the rules, you know. And uh, okay, so clash of uh, clash of the bronze, get your entries in as soon as possible. Do we have a deadline? I think we extended it another cycle than what's on the than what's been mentioned on here. So it's saying, let me make sure I got this right. Clash of Bronze Age. I think it's next cycle. But Brandon will let you know that for sure when you uh, talk to him later. Okay, so just uh, make sure you also tune in to the LNL Commissioner show that we're uh, recording later on. So we'll have more up to date on the Clash of the Bronze. Okay, now. Uh, uh, Oh, go ahead, Commissioner. Let me get that. One cool thing about this, though, you don't have to worry about flow, flowing with other managers because you're taking total, you know, total strat totals. I so that's that yeah. plus, you know. So why not jump in there? If you're a manager that normally gets 498s or something like that, jump in. You may get lucky and get somebody else that gets a 498 all the time, you know. Or you could get unlucky and get IWA flipped and hits a 491. Solid 491. 91. <laughs> All right, Commissioner. Let's uh let's get uh RWL 53. This is March 2020's uh, champions. 
uh, RWL champion, winner of 10 free matches, Vivian Blood. Congratulations. Glad to see the Blood Sisters uh, well represented. Uh, Rebel champion, or, excuse me, Rebel champion, uh, Spitfire, Janie Briggs. Ooh, doing it. Welcome back to the title page there, Janie Briggs. Uh, Glow champion, Darkheart, face kicking, Michi Ishikawa. Oh man, just saying her name hurts my hurts my <laughs> jaw. Uh, fabulous champion, uh, Victoria Von Freeman. Haven't seen her on the front page. Uh, where's she been? Welcome uh, back. She's been there pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, I see Janie and uh, yeah, and and uh, Heather more than I do Victoria, but. Well, welcome. Hey, speaking of uh, Heather, Medusa champion. There she uh, she is. hasn't been here for a while. No. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, I mean, these uh, these three right here, man, are trouble. Uh, mm-hmm. Looks like looks like they're time to hit. I was talking smack the other day on, uh, I think, on the UNL channel about how he hasn't, uh, the manager uh, hasn't hit in the UNL in a bit. But no, no, that's surprising. <laughs> you know, he definitely hit in the RWO. Yeah. Uh, Widow's Peak champion, ooh, Ariel Queen, now Tokido. A Phoenix champion, ah, the other third of the uh, Blood Sisters, Monique Blood. Uh, I've... Ice Cold, Samantha, Matthews, that's another one, her and Freeman. Got to see them back up here. Uh, sensational champion, Sparkling Star, Ayumi Matsuda. Luna champion, dominant factor vanity. Welcome. I mean, those. You know what? They 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 had a hot start. Those enemy yeah. girls. Yeah, I think this is the only active one this cycle. The other mm-hmm. ones were kind of inactive, but at least we still have one. It's mm-hmm. probably because of the COVID stuff going on. But... Yeah. Now, uh, I, I thought we were going to go through the whole names without seeing uh, one of the Rebellion or, or one of the yeah. Gores, but nope. Yeah. Stratus champion from the Battle Royal. Spend that dollar. Uh, the Helion, Roxanne O'Connor. Uh, two Ravens champions. Uh, speaking of the Bloods being hot this cycle, Monique and Vivian bring home the two Ravens champion. Siamese champions. Uh, oh, this is a weird little mix-up. The Wicked Corsair, Historia Tomiro. Teaming up with yeah. High School Samantha Matthews to bring home the Siamese one. Wow, nice. Uh, hey, look at here. The new Slay Girls, uh, Slammerella, Juju, and Elsa. Bringing home the Freeries. Uh, and, you know, couldn't have uh, a cycle without them. Trinity Champions, the Rebellion. The Hellion, the Starlet, and the Deviant one. Yep. And of course, uh, as mentioned, uh, the the Helion brought home the Battle Royal. So congratulations! Now, um, Vault X for winning the Battle Royal. Uh, I, I know we mentioned it on the UNL show. I just want to throw it out there because, I, I, again, I know she's a former a former RWLer. Uh, Sadaku from yeah. the L, from the LNL now retained the. Bron- Retained the Bronze Conqueror also. That is nice. That is dominant right there. That's so that. she gets she gets this cycle off, but in 13, Bronze Age 13, she fights the LNL Underworld Champion, whoever that may be at the time. Oh, nice. Who is it? Who is it currently? Um, don't know. Don't have it in front of me. Can't remember. Oh, he, the the underworld champion. Um, I can't remember. I should know that. I want. I want to say it's uh, Bagul. I think it is. I think that sounds right. Uh, I could be wrong, and Brandon and Brandon will uh, correct us later. But yeah, I don't have it in front of me right now. Right, right now, right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, now. Um, since we're doing champions, do you want to go over our uh, our commissioner's champions, or do you want to just run it down and announce the new champions as? Uh... Well, we'll do the current, then I'll run through when we do the who the new ones are when we're going through the 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 breakdown. Okay, the breakdown. You know, 
So right now, the current Revolt X champion is Ayumi Matsuda. The profile champion is Miki Ishikawa. Uh, the Once Upon a Time champion is Bonita Blood. And still the all-star tag champions, Amy and Darlene Blitz. And Amy and Darlene Blitz also had the IWA ladies tag team champions. Ooh, nice. Took yeah. it to the top. Yeah. Congratulations, ladies. Congrats. Yeah, well, now we, we also have that contract of avarice going on with the Yellow Jacket League. You know, this... And it started with the two two cycles ago. You know the six best strats from the Yellow Jacket League females, and the six best strats from the RWL went in a tournament. Oh, nice! Yeah, so they had the first round, and I got the results. Now I hope this doesn't end up. Uh... Destroying the the Yellow Jackets League uh, female division like uh, <laughs> like what happened with the AWL. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they're doing pretty good. Uh, Yellow Jacket League females, not too bad. Okay, okay. And right now they're uh, they got two two people in, and right now the Yellow Jacket has like three. I mean, the RWL has three. The Yellow Jacket has two, and so. But as of and this kind of and this kind of contract requires six, at least six females uh, in the division. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So what? <clears throat> well, I mean, it's just something uh, support the femme division in the Yellow Jacket League. Goldstein and uh, Cedric King, Yellow Jacket Commissioner Cedric King, they're just testing waters, just having a little interleague fun, you know. Oh, yeah, it's always good for them. Yeah. But those results are being there. It's down to a few teams. It's down It's down to the dominant factor vanity versus dominant factor affection and dominant factor alimony versus Raven Ember of the Yellow Jacket League. And Calypso of the Yellow Jacket League gets a bye. So that's round seven right now. Nice. Round. So going into the next round. So we're just waiting for the results Tuesday to see how they how the RWO fares against the Yellow Jacket League. Well, from the from the looks of the dominant ones, they look like they put it down. <laughs> yeah, they did they did pretty good because they just they came on at the right time, I guess you know. Nice. Well, well represented. Yeah. Now over in the back here, back in the RWL, we got this. Kim Fu Wu is doing her uh, collective glory challenge, and it's going pretty good so far. We have until June. Make sure I got. Yeah, we have until June cycle. Whoever gets the most titles by the June cycle will get will get forty. Uh, 40 scrub, not 40 scrub, 40 matches, RWL credit matches. Dude, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying, Sean. I, I literally have like focused all my, like, like, I mean, no no disrespect to the other bronze leagues. Like I told the other commissioners, I go, look, I go, I go, I want to have, you know, a a more concentrated play in the RWL because that's, that you know the first league that I was there, you know that's that's home mm-hmm. base to us, you know. So I want to make sure the support stays there. So I've been going hard, and my goodness, I can't even freaking get a singles, man. <laughs> it's a tough place, man. It's tough to play here. It really is. There's a lot of uh, active managers, a lot of great active managers. So yeah, I mean, if anyone thinks that it's easy to come to a female league and just you know all of a sudden. Start bringing home IWA Women's World because you think you're a badass somewhere. Oh, dude, just come and try it. Come and try it. Come and try it. Oh, man. Just keep it going. You'll get there, you know. But it doesn't stop at June because then you could have a good second half of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and, I'm, I'm, I'm and gain, gain all these, gain all the titles, and whoever has the most titles 
by the end of the year also it may it may be the same person or it could be some totally different you know because there's not a reset on the on the titles he just keeps collecting them until the end of the year also so it's two times you get a chance to win in this collective glory yeah like i said i mean it's it's a tough place to play i'm i'm glad i'm glad you're including the uh the printout of uh of the strategies by the way yeah well that's yeah, that, transparency you know yeah Definitely, we, definitely. We, we talked yeah. about you know because we kept on talking about it, and you know that a lot of leagues don't have transparency, but the ones do. I'm like, cool. I'm going to do a transparency page for the, how these contender X is determined. Yeah, there you go. Here, here, so here, here here's the pudding. Here's the pudding. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I love it. No, so yeah, so you know, again, great, great, great stuff. Uh, moving and, and again, great stuff. Just getting relevant stuff into the bulletin, brother. I guess that's that, that's a you know, a nice way to put it. Because if if people don't listen to the show and people are just opening up a bulletin, they could open it up and understand it. And you know, that's that's an important part of uh, getting information out there. Yeah, it's all here. So, you know, that's why I try to keep it. So, so there's no questions about it. You know, you just hey, it's right there. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of contender X, we had uh, the dominant factor Vanity going up against. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the they're they're one of the I mean elite around here anyway. So no surprise, uh, the deviant Erica Rockwell. How did uh, how did this one come out? Uh, dominant factor vanity beat, beat Rockwell. Oh, so she gets a chance along with the Hellion Rex and O'Connor gets a chance at the Revolt X against whoever is the, the current Revolt X champion, which we'll get to. Oh, nice, nice. Now, um, here we had uh, Wednesday night turmoil, yes. And this wasn't an April Fool's joke, this, but it was on April first. <laughs> yes. So these matches did happen, <clears throat> and these are the actual results. They're not no April Fool's results. So Ice Cold Samantha beat Chicka Phil. Dang. Hope beat Trista Gore. That's not April Fool's. It did oh. happen. It it happens. Is he? You it see? Ah. I'm still in shock. <laughs> <laughs> Liberty Liberty Monroe beat. I mean, no. Sorry, I read that wrong. Monique Blood beat Liberty Monroe. Nice. We already talked about the contender X. Vanity uh, beat Rockwell. Nice. Now, um, now our all star. This is important right here too. Now, uh, we, we've adapted the similar uh, uh, technique where you have to beat the champions before. In yep. Right. Did anybody beat them prior to this? No. At, at this time that you read in, Amy and Darlene are still the all-star champion, but they were beat five times in a, in a, a non-title match. So these oh, five nice. teams are about to mention – get a chance at the uh, all-star tag titles. But, that you know, Amy and Darlene and Blitz still are the champions as of now, so they get to fight Claude and Holiday this coming cycle for the uh, Bronze Age titles. Ooh, I like it. Have, yeah. have it's in Bronze Age 12, which is this Tuesday. But here's the five teams that get a chance, which I'm, I'm signing these matches, so don't worry about them. But it's Amy and Panda Ninja, Ayumi and Panda Ninja, Winter Go and Trista Gore, Monique and Vivian Blood, Liberty and Erica, and Historian Ice Cold. Those are the five teams that get a title shot. So we may have a new All Star. Uh, champion nice now um 
that's not to discourage anyone else from signing against the the Blitz sisters because you never know. They could run yeah. house. No. No, yeah. So. But uh, I, I mean, I think we were, we were talking about this on uh, on another one of the podcasts where, you know, these commissioner titles, you know, only become relevant if the people here, you know, start, you know, challenging for them. You know, we, we yeah. mentioned over in the UNL how, you know, Black Mass came into the league and, you know, because they were, you know, coming for tag supremacy. They went right after the commissioner titles and, you know, sure enough, they, they, they managed to bring them home. So, you yes. know, right, right now, you know, with uh, the, the newly uh, inducted uh, tag uh, scene that we have here, you know, we're just, just want to make sure managers are, you know, aware that, you know, you definitely have to challenge, you know, for the belt and have to beat the champions once to warrant a title uh, match. So you don't just go after them and beat them and take their shot and take their belt. No. So <clears throat> now it's such a good system. That's why we took it from the UNO and the actual LNL took it from the UNO also. So, yeah, I, so we're I think all it's, on board. Yes. I, I think it's a fair system. I think it, it, it keeps yes. it, uh, it keeps the belt from, you know, switching too, too often, but, and uh, it gives people a chance to trash talk about it. Also, you know, yeah. want to remind people, you know, myself included you know just make sure you know if you are challenging for it at least you know bring it up in your trash talk somewhere you know i know the blitz sisters currently have that belt which is a commissioner belt so you know definitely uh reminding you know if you're holding that belt try and you know flaunt it flaunt it or something hit somebody yeah. over the head with it do something with it <laughs> yeah oh, so they won the day yeah that's something to talk about they won the tournament the the hold these titles you know and now they're getting ready to get a chance to go after the you know the knights of the bronze age title so that's something to talk about yeah i mean if, if, if you if you ever needed something to talk about that's claude holiday and otis is gonna be one tough team to beat they beat some good teams already I, I, I mean, I, I'll say it like it is. I mean, that that manager has held just about every single commissioner belt that that we uh, yeah, that we've had. I mean, they, shout out to him. I mean, shout out Timothy. Like I said, I always tease him about trash talking. I know he's busy in a bunch of leagues, but you know, every, every chance I get to tease him about trash talking, I will. <laughs> oh yeah. man! So I know you'll be listening to this later. Trash talk. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> give us give us something, brother. I mean, hell, I mean, his fighters are I, I put them, you know, right there, right beneath uh, you know, the rebellion and and if he would have trash talked last year, he would have given the rebellion a uh, run for their money in terms of uh, the points. Yeah. <clears throat> but because of the lack of trash talk, he just was, you know, way behind. Yeah, that was like five points uh yeah. trash talk. So yeah, that's a lot of points. So Anywho, uh, now where are we at on this one? Uh, firefight. Ooh. Saturday night firefight. The home of the All Star titles, but also a lot of interleague play in, on this night. So we have Morbius from the LNL beat the RWL Historia Tamori. No way. Not, dude. How do you lose to Morbius? <laughs> <laughs> no, get a good son. Yeah. Oh, man. Down to triple threat, which has all three of the Bronze Age. LNL, Miss Saki, BRWL, Fango, and UNL, Flying Dragon, Philippe Rousseau. Oh, that's, that's an interesting one. She's a newcomer yeah. to the She's a newcomer to the LNL, right? She is, yeah. I think one of the first females. Hmm. Or one of, no, not one. That, well, she's one probably of the, one, one of the few. Female yeah, there. one of the few. Yeah, not too many there. In our mix match, RWL Bloodshed, Barb and Ice Coach Samantha. You know they they beat the L and L. I mean U and L. Mashanabu and Escavadora. Oh. And Escavadora was uh been pretty hot over there. Yeah, 
I, I, I would say, yeah, he's in the top five easy right now in terms of the last uh, last three cycles. Yeah. But to be fair to him, his uh, partner, Masanabu, is inactive. So oh. that's, that's where he lost. But probably would have been close. Maybe maybe if he wouldn't have beat up his uh, manager, uh, Henry Donaldson. <laughs> yes. He uh... There it is. Oh, man. Now, we did mention the five teams that uh, are eligible for uh, a tag uh, to, de- uh, to dethrone the Blitz Sisters, so you know who yep. you are. And I'm <clears throat> in the matches, so don't worry about them. I got your back on this. Just make sure you know, you know who the teams are. I mentioned them, and just make sure you're, you're flowing, I guess. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> that's the important part. And that's Ayumi. And Pan and Ninja, Winter and Trish Gore, Monique and Vivian Blood, uh, Liberty Monroe and Erica Rockwell, Historia Tomori and Ice Code Samantha. Pretty much teams that have been teaming up anyway. So, should be no problem with them flowing. I've seen these teams a lot. So. Hmm. Now, uh, Monday Night Revolt. Yes. April, April 6th. Heather Zastanpowski beat newcomer Cobra Kai Lee. She come over from the the Yellow Jacket League in that trade. Nice that they did. Uh, down hey, fact- Heather's a son of a. Uh, I mean, she she. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. She has uh, some partners here now. Big Mamba Blackmail Blackwell and Scylla Snake Spitter. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna heat up around here. So, see what's gonna go on with those. But dominant factor alimony. Um, you see, beat uh, Betty Sue, blood. Juju and Elsa beat Chimera and Maisie. Ooh, yeah, this stemmed from Chimera. I guess Juju and Elsa didn't want to play dollies with her, and Chimera got pissed off. They had a big brawl backstage. Oh no! Yeah, I'm telling you, you, you yeah, that, 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 that's what happens when you start messing with Slamorella. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, so they're they're on a team, but they're not. <laughs> it's kind of rocky sometimes. You, know? you never know. Uh, I mean, dude, when you got personalities like that, I mean, it's always going to be rocky waters. <laughs> poor, poor Maisie trying to keep keep them together. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what Maisie's gonna end up having to play. She's gonna have to be like the 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 glue. Yeah, mother hen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure oh. ugly ducklings aren't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't say ugly, did I? <laughs> oh man, Slamorella, Slamorella's gonna be. I mean, you should you should see what she's gonna. Oh man, we we we've said too much already, but. Uh, yeah, keep, keep an eye on Slamorella these next couple of days, Commissioner. She's, uh, yeah. oh man. And Revoltex champion, the current champion, Ayumi Masuda, still champion by beating Deviant Erica Rockwell. Now, there's normally three contenders here. What happened? Well, one held on the Battle Royal also and uh, Contender X. That selfish yeah. tramp. So, what? Oh my! So we do goodness. have we do have three this cycle. Huh? We got Ayumi's gonna defend her title against Dominant Vanity and Hellion Roxanne and O'Connor. Let's see who's gonna be come out positive on that? Yeah, I mean that that's a great. I mean. I mean, if, if we don't mention the rebellion a few times, and if you know, I mean, yeah, if if you think we're saying it just because you know the commissioner, you know, runs some of those, uh, no, I mean, it's everything here happens, you know, through, you know, through the commissioner's uh, structure, and so there is no favoritism, or, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what else you want to see, but. Damn, the yeah. rebellion's good. Damn, the yeah. Rebellion. We talk about transparency. This is, you know, all these all these matches are determined from 
winning something or having a higher strap. Yeah. So uh, and 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 as a treat to everybody, you know, all the other little matches that happen on profile just kind of keep the stories and everything else going on, you know, kind of flowing. So that's just the added bonus because I'm looking down a little bit and I see profiled. And I'm just like, oh yeah, all the other little side, you know, you know, side little matches that happen, just kind of to, yeah. like you said, that stem from a, a certain transaction or a certain match or a certain, yes, yeah, lead, leading up to a pay per view. Yeah, and we do have a pay per view coming up, fifty five in bloom. We'll talk about. Nice. Later. Now on the profile, Gabby Wander beat Ovarian Syndrome. Nice. I didn't even you know, know she had. You know? Yeah, I, 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 I was about to say that. I thought you got that a little later in life, but yeah, I know. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> go, go, Gabby, go, Gabby, Survivor. Because yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make sure I give her a ribbon. There's her gotta ribbon. be a, yes, gotta there be a There you go. That that's the awesome trash talk right there. Yeah, taking this match and you can make some cool trash talk with it. I love it. Yeah. Babs Capone beat Panda Ninja. Oh, no. Don't say that. Damn. You know what? Our, our next match is going to have to be special, Commissioner. And, I, and I've already shown you a preview of what's to come. So that, that's what I'm going to have to you know, ask for next next site. Next, the next pay-per-view is going to be – we're both going to be in that kind of uh, – I don't want to ruin the surprise, but it, it, in that kind of uh, ensemble, if you know what I mean. Yes. So. So. Evie? You're next. You're next. You're next. <laughs> oh. Now, in the best of five, this stems from the Dragon Lily and Red Lotus interfering with uh, Nao and Fango and, you know, that little fun thing that they got going on. So, But it's the best of five, and Nao beat Dragon Lily to make it one and zero. So. Our Dragon Lily is already starting off on a bad foot right now against Nao. Mm. Nao's tough. I mean, God, you yeah, know, she's... You, you talk about people that come and uh, make an instant impact. And I'm not just saying that because he sends in, you know, loads of trash talk. I mean, he's relevant in Big on time. the front on the front page on, you know, in the trash talk, in moving stories. I mean. I, I I know it's taken me a while to kind of you know get back on the trash talk uh, flow, but you know shout out to him for for keeping his characters in the in the mix and moving. I mean, yeah, Ooh. but I'm not letting Panda get off that easy. <laughs> Speaking of his characters, Mickey Ishikawa, the current profile champion, is still profile champion by being dominant factor affection. You know what, Commissioner? I don't believe that because I think you're just being like showing favoritism and you just kind of give him the belt, right? Because that's the way, you know, it works. You just give him a belt. Yes. I just give him the belt. <laughs> just give him the belt. No, no but now. The way, way this works is, you know, you're climbing, climbing the ladder. So going against regional champions. And you see where I've got Ivory under dominant factor affection. That was the champion in 52. In 53 champion, we're going up the ladder. So from Ivory, it would be Phoenix champion. So Monique Blood will get a chance against Mickey Ishikawa this coming cycle for the profile champion. Now, now if I want a shot at the Facebook uh, profile champion. Widow's Peak. Challenge for the Widow's Peak this cycle. And that'll if you win the Widow's Peak, that'll give you the shot the following cycle. Yep. Whoever the champion may be. Amazing. Amazing. At least, you know. So shout out to Mickey for holding it down. Like I said, you have to go through. You, you're, you're basically fighting champions. You know, to, you're retaining against, you know, previous champions. So you're going up against the creme to the crop. So because the, the, way I, the way I see it is I'm going up against somebody that's a regional champion that has a shot at the world championship. So they're going to be. Yes. On on a game, this isn't somebody that's you know, no, this is somebody that has a shot at the world championship. They're going to be on a game, so yeah, that's that's, so that's a tough title. Another tough. <clears throat> oh yeah. Then once once you get up, it's just a 
just the regional titles. So once we get back up to glow, it's going to start back down, down the ladder. Going all the way down. Then we get back to Stratus again. It's going back up the ladder. So it's going up and down the 10 regionals. Yeah, so once it gets to the top, it just goes right back to the bottom and climbs right back up. Nice. Yep. There you go. Structure, baby. Structure. Uh, now, uh, this is another one you added. You just, you know, I, I know you uh, just wanted to take advantage of everything that the IWA provides. So this is kind of, you know, hey, we got we got something else that the IWA gives us that's random. Let's use it. So race yep. against time. And what it is, you look in a bullet and you fight somebody, you beat them by a certain amount of time. So I figured, hey, let's use time, you know. So I pick a scrub that you fight. And in this one, these people are fighting Ariel Ash. And whoever beat her by the, the five that beat her by the fastest time will fight it out and get a chance at the Once Upon a Time champion. And that's how that title is determined, you know. So you, you could have, you may have the best, you know, best strat out of everybody that beat the, you know, beat the scrub, but you may not be the one of the fastest times. So it's based off five of those fastest times, which makes, you know, a little interesting, you know. Right, changes it up a little bit. So now last, uh, yes, I mean, and, and again, and, uh, it's not like something that you got to go and hunt it down. You, Oh, go ahead, Commissioner. I'm sorry, you broke up. No, 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 that's fine. It's, um, yeah, what you do, you know, I tell you who, you're, who, who it is to fight next, you know. If you look on there, Tour 54 opponent is number 16, Kerwin Deegan. So if now, you want is to that, this, is that is that someone that's within the bottom uh, twenty? Mo- m- most of the time, yes. Okay. Every once in a while, I throw one in there that's at twenty one or twenty five. You know, yeah. Nice. So it's just, I mean, if you're if you're using a match deal, yeah, more than likely you're you're gonna be more you know likely. eligible for this with your at match deal. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I try to do that, but I, I'll throw <laughs> one every once in a while. I'll throw one outside of that. To keep you on your toes, you know, oh, so nice. you can look, look them, you know, and kind of see, like, oh man, I didn't, I thought it was in, you know. So just keep track of where that person is in the bottom twenty, you know, or more. Nice. On fifty-two, uh, Fango is a champion, so she's waiting to see who won in fifty-three. And the five fastest times was Reina Fukuda, Chimera Rue. Bonita Blood, Susie Moon, and Historia Tamori. But Bonita Blood had the highest strat out of those five. And but she also had the highest strat over Fango and beat Fango and become Ooh, nice. the new, uh, once upon a time champion. As of this one right here. So, so, so Bonita Blood is our new uh once upon a time champion. As as of this one right here, but the new results you were going against Ariel Ash. And the five fastest times was Big Mama Blackwell, Ayumi Masuda, Aya Casket Rathmore, Mickey Ishikawa, and Lady Fango. And uh, the fastest, let me make sure I get writing this down right. The current champ is Bonita Blood. And the new Once Upon a Time champion, let me pull up that sheet. Or is it the same person? Let me just make sure. Here we go. Ayumi Masuda. Oh, nice. She had the fast, she had the best strat out of those five fastest times. And and she beat Bonita Blood. Become the new Once Upon a Time champion. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just a little, a little extra, a little something. Uh, yeah, little side little, dish. Leg, little leg work to go in on my part to go through it, but but you know it's simple. You just all you do, all you have to do is fight that scrub and see what the results are, because the time is determined by the IWA randomizer, you know, type thing. You know, so you never know who it's going to be. 
Yeah. It just, but, but, as, long, as long as it's out of our, uh, our uh, what do you call it, our equations, and they, they do the randomizing. That, that. Yeah. <laughs> and I asked them, and that time is just a random time they throw in there. Kind of based off strat, kind of not based off strat sometimes, you know, so. So it's just a weird random factor that I figured would be a cool way to make a match out of. Nice. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, obviously, we talked about the special match deal, but uh, the other match deals are still in place if you want them, I guess. Yes, yeah, they're still in place, and you could use them. Um, you could use in addition to, but not given to the same wrestler. Gotcha. So you use a $12 or $14 match deal for one wrestler, but for another wrestler, you have to, have to use, you use something else. Let's say you want to use a 16 deal or whatever. So it's not just one. You can use more than one match deal. You just have to give them to different wrestlers. Awesome. Uh, we reminded everybody of uh, uh, the clash of uh, clash of the bronze. O- obviously, if you're looking at the bulletin, uh, there's the recaps for, for yes the, pre- for the previous. Yeah. yeah, the previous one. Yes, which we uh, went over last cycle. So that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Um. The next pay-per-view in bloom. In bloom. Tour nice. 55, right around the corner. Oof. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you want to go over uh, the current uh, confirmed matches? Yes, these are so far. I mean, there'll be a newer list in the coming bulletin. Should be the probably the final one. There may be a few changes once 55. But in 54, there'll be you'll see the results. And I mean the confirmed matches in uh, 54. But so nice. far we have Reina, Fukuda, and Ayumi versus Dragon Lily and Red Lotus. It's because Dragon Lily and Red Lotus interfering with Reina and Fango's friendship type thing. So there's some, something's going on there. Haven't figured it out yet, but. And this match has been canceled already because Punk Princess is gone. Victoria, uh, and then, that's why I said his card's subject to change. You know, things happen. She's here for one cycle and left. Punk princess. Uh, it happens. Yeah, not the not not the first person to come and go like that, but no, it happens. And a little interleague fun here because they had little heat from Sadako's time here in the RWO. It's, Miki Ishikawa versus Sadako Saki. Ooh. Oh, that one's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that one could go that one could Yeah. That one that one could go down to like a dead, dead draw. I mean that one that's a tough one. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> now Chimera Roo versus Roxanne O'Connor. Roxanne's been uh wanting a challenge and called her out. You know, called out Chimera. I don't know if it's smart, but she did. <laughs> I, you know what i I don't think I don't think I've ever seen them really tangle. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first time they never. Oh yeah, I, yeah. That, they I, had I got matches my... here and there, but never. Right, right, few, right. Never had words. This is yeah. This is going to be yeah. good. And Panda Ninja versus Slammerella. This is there like third? <laughs> I believe. Uh, you know what? The, the, there's some there's some yeah. uh, series that evolve from a series into yeah. a rivalry, and yeah. you know this is one. Of... They just had a match that become this epic thing, encounter. You know. Yeah. So so yeah. Th- th- this kind of series is just gonna. Like I said, this rivalry is one of those like, uh, yeah. Um, I'm I'm curious to see you know how this evolves you know even further because yeah this is yeah this is this is definitely not going away anytime soon. Even Evie wants it to stop. 
Evie's like, I got my panda back. This is over, yeah. right? It's over. And yeah. we got word that it's not over. No. And speaking of not over, is a triple cage of death. The return, I you know, I returns Oof. against Winter Gore. I was actually mentioning Aya to uh, to you know Commissioner uh, Scott Anderson the other day. I go, I go, man, just you know, I I, I know you know Aya. I go, but you got to understand that, yeah. you know, the the Rathmore name and the Rathmore uh, legacy has you know has evolved you know in in angles and storylines over the last two years with with Brandon Sean and I. I go, so yeah. when I see you know someone like little Aya that went through this tragedy and all of a sudden now she comes back in this way. And, and like I told, uh, I, I told Mr. Anderson, I go, you know what, you know, breaking a little bit of, uh, you know, fourth wall stuff. I go, I go, yeah, you know, he could have brought her back any which way, but to bring her back within the casket girl, you know, transformation and within that thing to bring her back in that route, that's what I enjoy in terms of, you know, coming here to the uh, RWL and the story, you know, is that, the way they evolve. It's not just she's back from the dead. Yep. Like, huh? what, like, what, and, that, and that wasn't her attention. <clears throat> she right. had the will to come back and she found a way back. That's, I can't. That's a triple. A, a, blood, you know? Now, is it is just the cages on top of a cage, like hanging? Yes. Like, nice. Yes, it's three cages connected. So you got to climb your way into each cage. Yeah. Nice. So it's three cages. You already know what happened with Aya on top of one cage. She died, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's Winter who, well, depending who you talk to, you know, she either tripped or it was voodoo, but it was voodoo, you know? Oh, yeah. Witch, witch, witchcraft, voodoo, call it what you will, Commissioner. Yeah, it's... So that's that's going to be a good match crazy rivalry that's still in this rivalry has Susie moon in it too. That started feuding with winter because of their, uh, blood sister thing going on, you know? So that's, it, you need to go back through and read all these bulletins. And it's a crazy story. Oh yeah. It's all, it's all mixed up. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Susie, Susie is still like, like I, like I, you know, like we've known for the last couple of year or year and a half now, I mean, she's one of the most dominant, you know, female fighters here. So I, just to see her in the mix with, you know, the, the likes of the gores and seeing where those two, you know, you know, that, that fight for the top, you know, the. Yeah, it's, it's going to, it's going to be something. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm in the gore said they're not finished with Susie. So we still have that. <laughs> to go through on top of what's going to happen here. Now, um, you mentioned, uh, <clears throat> you mentioned inviting the likes of, uh, of Otis and, uh, uh, what, what's his, what's his, uh, Claude Holiday and Holiday. Otis and Claude Holiday. Uh, now, are they coming here, or are we going there? What, 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 what's that? Uh, how does that work out? Are they coming to our I arena? Believe, let me see. For the for no, the safety for through. the safety for the safety of the blitz. Yeah. They're coming here. Okay, cool. Whew. Yeah, because they're tra they're traveling here since they're the current champions. They travel to the league. They're fighting, nice. fighting in. And that's where it takes place. So. Nice. I think I think we can I think we can keep them safe. I <laughs> think keep them safe. <laughs> Ah, nice. And also, Thanks. we have the whoever the profile championship is, that match will go on, and the Revolt X championship will go on in our face in our face off. Now, Before, now, when's you know, fifty? When's uh, when, when's the next time we get the conquer uh, shot? Thirteen, I believe. Oh, us. Let me see. The RWO gets it in fifteen. So we start us at ways off. In fifteen? In uh, yes, bronze, so right now in bronze. Oh, bronze. Ah, da, 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 da. okay. I was like, wait a minute, we're already in RWL yes. fifty. <laughs> like, so bronze no, age, bronze age. Aha, gotcha. Yep. So, 
who knows who the Revolt X champion in 14 will be to determine who fights who fights uh, whoever the Bronze Conqueror is at the time. Because it, it may change here in uh, number 13, Bronze Age 13, when they when she goes against the uh, Underworld champion. So we still have some time to figure out that dynamic. What kind of match that would be. Nice. Uh, let's see here. And I don't know why Pebbles is there. It's kind of inact, somewhat inactive wrestler, but. And we got. Uh... I know the Rebellion's mentioning uh, the Princess, but you said she's gone. Yep, Princess is gone already. Acid and Venus is talk about the Blitz Sisters, but they didn't beat the Blitz Sisters. They weren't one of the five teams Dang. that beat the Blitz Sisters. So, and and five teams may have beat the Blitz Sisters for a chance at the All Star, but the Blitz Sisters did beat a lot of teams. <laughs> uh, now they were they were also league champions last cycle. Yes, right? yes they were. Yeah, so a lot of people were trying for the title and All Star. But they beat a lot of people, and just five people beat them. And yeah. one of those five teams that beat them is the current tag champs right now, Monique and Vivian Blood. So. Oh, I know I was one of the ones that didn't beat them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. What else do we got here, Commissioner? We got uh, looks like the Gores. Looks like the Gores are recognizing uh, the return of uh, Aya. Yep. So, and like I, we talked about, they said they're not done with Susie. So, now, uh, these newcomers, uh, let's talk a little about uh, Cobra Kai Lee and uh, Big Mamba. Yeah, they're part of the Oru clan, the Ouroboros clan, which is in it all started with uh, Jake the Snake Sabo and UNL. Oh, nice. Yeah, he went to the EPL. But yeah, there's a, you know, all these people are connected from this uh, rock star that they're, you know, I don't know if it's hypnotic control or something, something's going on there that all these people are now becoming, you know, Oru now. Nice. And they're all like snake type people. And Ouroboros is a, you know, if you look it up, you'll figure out what Ouroboros is. But Big Mama Blackwell is here to help uh, Cobra Kai Lee and same with Scylla Snakes. And Scylla was the first one to show up here. And, and yeah, I ain't messing with Big Mamba. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Cobra, so that's going to be a different dynamic here. A new team along with NME. It's another new team that showed up. Yeah, they're they're like I said. I can't wait to hear what uh, what they have to what they have to say. Yeah. Now, um, we had mentioned uh, Maisie that you know pretty much being the glue that's going to keep. Uh, I mean, even though herself, she's claiming you know she's a heel herself, but yeah, I mean, she's got some. <laughs> cuckoos uh, around her let's just say that yeah she does but she has to be she has to be strong and a badass herself to kind of hold that glue together you know well i mean she's gonna have to take a page out of her uh out yeah. of her uncle's uh playbook because exactly if someone that. if someone knows if someone knows about dealing with cuckoos uh ezekiel crane definitely uh has kept his fair cuckoos together <laughs> so so that's scary knowing who her uncle is <laughs> yeah now uh this was also uh pretty uh awesome uh, to see her actually uh, uh kind of reaching out to to liberty old news yeah so i don't know if it's reaching out or not but oh, she's... <laughs> oh there, she's calling her out i mean she's calling her out yeah. yeah there's not there's not much i can repeat from uh from uh from Maisie crane i mean this is still uh you know yep. like i said th th we're still a pg-13 uh, rated show here in the rwl but 
a lot of the stuff that she says, I'm like, holy moly, what the hell's going on here? She got the mouth on her. <laughs> but keep, just keep a look out because I believe that that's match is getting signed for the pay per view. Bring your faded star. Ooh. Ouch. I just in that's a new match for the pay per view. Wow. Yeah. Uh now um with a reputation like uh like the Aerial Queen and uh and Mickey have you would figure they would have people like at their feet begging for a pay-per-view match. But because they keep kicking people in the face, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of hard to sign against you ladies because, you know, no one wants to get kicked in the face. So, but they've been um, in they've been in my office and there's been other people in my office. So, who you just keep an eye on the next in this Tuesday. Yeah, the you know, we're gonna have to hire the attorneys of uh, Madden and Maccabee to come and uh, write a new contract for the Hopes and Dreams girls about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we were we were so concerned about swearing in the in the RWL that we completely forgot about bullies and getting kicked in the face. So we're gonna have to have a, a, a face kicking jar. Every time you get kicked in the face, you're gonna get suspended or. <laughs> <laughs> pay up, pay up to the jar. <sighs> as much money as they're winning these days, yeah, yeah, they they can afford it. <laughs> um, now, um, Historia just lost in her uh, in her match uh, to Morbius. I don't know what she's doing, sailing her boat over to. The LNL, but you don't mess with vampires. Leave the, especially not the good vampires. Leave them alone. They don't need to be catching your scurvy. Yeah, and she's a. Uh... Yeah, she still has some bad heat with Sadako too. Uh, Sadako pissed off a lot of people when she was here. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, she's gonna piss off the entire Bronze Age. She, the way she's going. Yeah, the way she's going, yes. <laughs> oh, man. But good for her. Good for her. Sadaka deserves it. But um, now, uh, no one else is uh, picking on Historia. Like I said, it, it, I mean, no. Ah, oh, dude. You know what? I mean, I, I <sighs> if I mean, I know she's teamed up with the Order, so it's. I, I know the Order is not going to pick on her. I mean. We're gonna have to shine some light on her and probably go after her with, uh, you know, with the Slay Girls because we're not gonna let them just sail around the uh, R to be well without giving them some kind of attention. Oh, you know what? I take that back. We'll, we'll probably pick on Reina. Reina, Reina's like, she looks like she has a smile at least. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pick. We'll pick on Reina. Reina. Reina looks like, and then we'll have we'll have the other girls come and defend Reina. Yeah, because the other girls look. Look like trouble. We'll pick on Reina. Yeah. Who, who, who's Reina fighting at the pay per view? Is she fighting anybody? Uh, no one right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, go ahead. Go, go ahead and sign Reina up against uh, Juju or one of them. All we're right. Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna go. Yeah, because she. And the contracts yeah. away. Yeah. They can sign them. Oh, you know what? Why don't we sign a tag team with uh, her other little. Uh, Golden Rock Super Buddy, uh, Sparkling Star. So make it. Is Ayumi fighting anybody? Ayumi, yes. Ayumi oh, yeah. is okay. at yeah. uh, best of five. Okay, so Ayumi's already best in. Of five still taking place. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll we'll do we'll do Reina. You know, uh, okay. like let's go Reina Juju. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because she's you know, she's an upcoming yeah. superstar. You know, she's. Got to keep her in the mix. I I, I don't want to get scurvy and, and I don't want to get kicked in the face. Yeah. All right, that <sighs> contract's coming both Reina's and Juju's way. Nice. Oh man, yeah. Because uh, I mean, I would I would go after the other two with uh, with Gabby and uh, 
and hope, but we've gotten kicked way too many times already. I mean, if, yeah. if they don't, if they don't yeah. find it, if they don't find a match, if they don't find a match, we'll gladly sign a tag team match or a, or a trio match against. Let's do that. Let's do a six man with uh, uh, with uh, Takedo, Historia, and uh, Ishikawa. We'll do we'll do a six man versus them. I mean, at least like that we have some what we can tag out when we're getting kicked so in the face. You know? and abs. Yeah, the hopes and dreams girls versus them. At least like that, you know, we're we have at least a, a, a scratching chance, you know. All right. It, it, I mean, let, let's be honest. I mean, I've tried to go up against them singles the last couple of pay per views. I've been uh, yeah, mauled. Yeah. I've been mauled. <laughs> Uh, all right so yeah and if um if, if if you find something for elsa you know sign her up or if you want to tag her up or team her up with uh with any of the other ft girls um all the other fts are taken up all right cool 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 i'm sure something will pop up yeah, if if anything, like I said, we'll like I said, I don't want to pick on Timmy because I know Timmy won't won't trash talk that bum, <laughs> bum. But yeah, we'll see. I I definitely wanted to get uh, get what's her name. She's just she her smile just I was like yeah she she looks too happy. She looks like we could beat her up. Reina Fukuda, the Reina. spirit, the spirit of rock. You're gonna get jumped. Yeah. But yeah, the full uh you see more of these matches in uh, uh tour fifty four this Tuesday. And and even then, I mean, if if you're hearing this and you want want a match, just send them my way and I'll see what I could do. Nice. Oh man. Now uh did did anything go in the B side? I know sometimes some stuff goes inside the middle of the bulletin. Did yeah, the only there? thing that was over there was the rebellion. Talk about oh. the punk princess and uh, Chimera. Oh man! Well, hopefully the punk princess yeah. comes back in due time. I know I know things are tough right now with uh, with everything going on with uh, with the current real virus. <laughs> yes, the real virus. Yeah, not this uh, IWA virus. Oh man! All right, Commissioner. I think I think we got everything in. Is there any other reminder? Remind everybody if you got this far. Remind of the special match deal. Remind no, everybody. I think we got everything. Yeah. Cool. Just go over to the RWL page if you want to. You know, I reminded everything over there. So, and plus, just listen to this podcast. That'll if work. You're, if you made it to the end, I'm sure you listened to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you've been listening to uh, Shell McAbee, Commissioner of the RWL, a.k.a. Commissioner Goldstein, and myself, IWA Flip. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.